Yeah, I got yeah, can. Okay, uh, recently I saw this on Hacker Day, uh, this article about someone who uh, had his ThinkPad display. Uh. Then, uh, okay, the idea is that he wanted to improve his display of his computer. He's using a T430S. Okay, so, okay, so the key thing is that his display sucks. And then he wanted to upgrade it. Resolution sucks and he uses a twisted pneumatic display. Okay, uh, okay I just... Okay, so he wanted to change to in-print switching thing. He did successfully. Now, this is the key thing. I have a similar laptop. So he uses a T430S. I have a T430. A similar one. So I thought, why not just follow what he did? La? So I look at his blog post, right? Okay, just a bit scroll. So he, he's, uh, he upgraded to a different screen, IPS screen. But the thing is, IPS screen uh, uses a, a e-display port, external display port connector. But the T430 uses a LVDS connector. So basically two different protocols. So he said that, oh, but someone in China is selling this converter board. So yeah, it's actually here. So you can see, obviously, I bought this item also. So it's basically a, a, that converts one protocol to the other. And uh, what, for the screen, right? IPS screen. Uh. So I thought, eh, I want to do the same for my laptop because my laptop suffers the same problem as this guy. Right? Okay. So, and I really go and do it for my laptop also. So you can see some pictures. This was the original picture of my laptop. Uh, you can see the screen just sucks. Uh. So, so I did, I followed the same hack as he did. You can see this is a picture. This is, you can see the reflection of me there. I, yeah, the adapter board just shove it here. <laughs> so the, okay, the, obviously this is a CPU here. So apparently there's an empty spot here. And luckily my laptop has an empty spot. So I just throw the adapter there. Okay, the hard part was actually to wire that cable. Okay, the output from the motherboard is here, right? So normally the cable goes from here straight to the LCD panel, right? So, but... Because of the limitation of the case, I need to put the, the adapter here. So I wire this thing inside there. So, and see this under the this, uh, cooling thing, right? So I have to basically unplug the, the CPU cooler, thread it through here. And what about the other cable, right? It goes under the speaker. <laughs> goes from this side <laughs> here, back in. So that was a bit of a challenge. Uh. So I, I managed to do it. Uh. So I followed that guy there. So. Yeah, that's all. That's all my quick hack. So thanks for that guy op open sourcing his methods. So I just follow it. Yeah, lor. Yeah. So any questions? Yeah, Kevin. So what is the difference between LVDS? Uh, okay. I really didn't prepare for this talk. So apparently, are different. Is you can say one of them is a probably very like energy will be an analog versus a digital. I think. VGA, yeah, VGA. Yeah, more advanced one. So the 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 seven. Board. This one? Yes, yeah, so that one is like you're doing something non-trivial. It's not just a matter of. Yes, like it's not trivial. Level, so yeah, so you can see the adapter, right? Yeah, it's not that trivial. It's a certain size, lah. So could you do this with an FPGA? Ah, uh, okay. I I don't know. <laughs> Super impromptu talk. Yeah. Is the controller uh, Yes, but it's, uh, I think the, the the main difference between LVGS and and ADP is. First, the rate of signaling is much higher for, for this paper. So it's really serial link that is very, very, very fast, it's even if in a metal version, which is tried to make like more like parallel, it's, it's very, okay. very high signaling. So, so we need high, high end FPDA. Okay. And the second is uh, you need to have a compatible electrical interface, which FPGA doesn't provide. So you probably want to have some extra okay. interface. Okay, so you mentioned about the, is the board the powered, right? So the entire LCD... Let me go back to the picture. Sorry, let me go back to the picture. Okay, so the entire LCD panel is actually powered really from here. So I believe they are tapping the power source from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Well, if you buy yeah. a separate converter yeah. between interfaces like LVDS and EDP outside of the laptop, that will also be more. more okay, expensive. because uh, this is a very niche product, I would, mm -hmm. I would assume. And this is a mass market LCD panel. Yeah. Oh, really? So oh, wait, normally they are sold in packages. Specifically for ThinkPad, like, this one? Yeah, specifically yeah. Specifically yeah. For ThinkPad. yeah. So, yeah. So it's not yeah. some standard. Yeah. Thing that no, it's not some standard thing I, I believe, yeah. 
So it's proprietary for ThinkPad. Uh, okay, that's why I'm not sure because they say that the T430S, right? Let me write, uh, it's a different one. So, no, like the DS. See, it. Uh, no. Yeah, so apparently they designed specifically for this. I don't know why it's the difference. To, to my understanding, because I, I looked at the matter, EDP was this attempt to standardize the, the, the interface between laptop and, and, and the display, but there are still incompatibilities there. And I think the configuration is somehow hardwired, so it's not how to configure. Okay. Any more questions? So do you like the display more? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> much better, it's much sharper. Okay. This one this one doesn't really do it justice. This is a graph loader. I forgot to take a picture of the actual desktop. La. <laughs> but it's definitely much better. Yeah. The view angles are much better. You can see from this the previous display it sucks. <laughs> but the resolution is different or the same? Uh, higher. It's 1920 by 1080, yeah. The old one was 1600 by 900. Wait, how big is your screen first? This 14 inch. Oh, okay. Wow, so it's a $150 thing. Yeah. But how difficult to do? Difficult to do this. Uh, because I, uh, I open my laptop quite often, so to me it's quite easy. And uh, think that they come with a very good service manual. So even if you don't know, know how to write, like for example LCD, right? Then you just... They give you step by step. Remove this screw, take out. Next step number two, take out that screw. Step number three, and so on. Just follow. Yeah, yeah. Think pads are very good for that. It's probably why a lot of people actually made their own laptop setups based on old ThinkPads. Yes. Yeah, so which manner is good. Another one, yeah, I think Dell Latitudes. Also. Oh, no, it. it's purely transparent, yeah. Yes. Ah, yes. They, they, they recognize the new uh, resolution uh, automatically, somehow. So <laughs> new. OS recognize la. I mean, the OS it's is the easy part, but actually interesting if you think of that, with the disk deck, there is an internal connector originally from the video card to an internal display that's supposed to never change. Yeah. And yet, when you plug in a different display, it actually you know, does the song and then to I find out the sporty resolutions mm. and then switch. Because this one, they only, I think this adapter only so Yeah, they is fixed at 30, correct. So they only tie to a 30 display. Any question? Nothing else? Okay.